What's up, everybody? This is Torrance Davis from Davis Daily. And Western Digital was kind enough to send us one of these C50 Western Digital Black memory cards for the Xbox Series X. And we're going to unbox it. <music> Well, I mean, we're going to unbox it. It's just like you just open it and take it out. It's, it's nothing really difficult. This thing is beautiful. Uh, it actually came with a copy of Forza Motorsports 5, which I think I'm going to give away because I have Game Pass. So it's not a big deal for me, but uh, I'm going to give that away uh, on this video sometime during the middle of the video. <laughs> so you got to watch the whole thing. So anyway, here it is. Here's the card. Uh, it comes with this little case. So if you have multiples of these, you can put them in the case. This is technical excellence. Uh, I, I'm not a big fan of proprietary memory cards. We've seen this in the past with the Sony uh, PSP and all that stuff. But as far as expanding your space on your console, I dig this because... Yeah, it's proprietary, but you're not going to use this anywhere else anyway. Uh, and it's not like it's this huge expense. So it's a, an affordable way to expand the hard drive space on your Xbox. And we're going to go through this process right now. Because right now, if you look in the back of the Xbox, there is a uh, external enclosure there that I have hooked up to my Xbox that has a Western Digital black two terabyte drive in there that I used to expand this, the storage. So I actually have three terabytes worth of data on my Xbox. It's not really full. So I could downgrade and go to faster storage and still have plenty of space to store all my stuff. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. There's the back of my X Xbox series X. Here's the beautiful card by Western digital block. The cool thing about this is it's got a full metal enclosure here. It's, 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 it's rock solid. Uh, it's a beautiful little device. This can only go in your Xbox one way. So let me get this right. Let's see here. I think it's this way. Let's see. There we go. It is added to my Xbox. That's the installation video. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So, uh, while I got your attention, the code was not for Forza Motorsports 5. It was for the car pack. So if you have Forza Motorsports 5 and you want the car pack, there's the code. That's all I'm going to give you. Hope you win. If you win, please leave a comment in the comment section. And, um, yeah. So we got that installed. So now we're going to turn this on. And we're going to do some speed tests. I'll do a quick speed test just to see how much faster the game's loaded uh, between this solid state card and a Western Digital Black hard drive. So let's go. Okay. All right, everybody. Um, so I'm on my Xbox right now. And. I'm going to show you a couple things. So I'm going to go down to system and storage devices and you'll see three storage devices. So I have my external two terabyte uh, Western Digital Black Drive. It's got 1.8 terabyte is the total after the system files and I have 35.9% free. There's the expansion card which has 919, basically 920 gigabyte free of 920 gigabyte. So that has 80 gigabyte in system files. So, um, which is interesting. So this has, that has 20 gigs or 200. I'm like, why am I reading this right? Why am I? So this one is 72 gigs out of 802. So. This, this top one here is the internal storage that comes with the system. Obviously, there's going to be more system files on this, so that's 200 gigs of files there. And then the expansion card, 
you get everything. So I'm saying 920 gigs because I'm thinking that one terabyte means that there's 80 gigs of, of hidden files or maybe, I'm sure there's 80 gigs of system files there, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just a 920 gigabyte drive and you only lose 0.1 gigs. And then on the external, they have 1.8 terabyte. So again, there's the, I did I say 20 before? I meant there's the 200. 200 gigs of system space on the external. And I think that system space that it takes up is the same on both for, I don't, I don't know why, I don't know why it's the same on both, but I'm thinking because these are actual hard drives, the internal storage is a solid state and the external is obviously a off the shelf regular hard drive. Maybe it needs those files, but for this expansion card, there's a savings. <laughs> you get a savings even though it doesn't quite reach the full one terabyte you're only losing 80 gigs as opposed to 200 gigs so i think that's pretty cool um so let's look at the internal storage so the internal storage has what i'm playing now basically right so this is all i have on my internal storage and on the external I have all my old stuff, all my Xbox 360 stuff, Borderlands, stuff that is kind of like archived that I'm not really playing. I don't know why I have a separate copy of Titanfall 2 on my other storage, but you know, stuff that I just really haven't been playing and if I get the hankering to play them, then I'm going to load them up. So, all this stuff's going to get copied to that new Western Digital card. So just as an example, I'm gonna, um, and, and if, you, if you look, you can see, you'll see the lights on my external hard drive flashing. But I'm gonna open up Quantum Break, because I haven't opened up this game in ages on my, uh, on my Xbox. So I'm just gonna start my own timer here. Here we go, Let's see how long it takes. So you can see my, my hard drive flashing and I got the title screen at eight, just about eight seconds, okay? Which is pretty damn fast, right? For my Western Digital Black Drive. That drive's not new, it's old. And it got everything booted up in eight seconds, okay? So, uh, I don't wanna play this right now. Close it and I'm going to go back to system and I'm going to go storage devices. I am going to move everything from this external drive, uh, select all, and I'm going to move selected to the expansion. Here we go. Let's see how long it takes. It's going to take up three quarters of the drive it's flying again you can see my hard drive going um, now you can actually see how fast it's moving the data it's pretty fast I mean, it's not a lot of stuff. I really need to delete that Titanfall 2 install. But, uh, it's like, what, 41 games? So it's queuing them all up and it's gonna move them all over. And I think it's actually installing as it moves because it has to, maybe it's just moving. Let's see. Yeah, so we're gonna let that go. Let's, let's watch it.
Okay, that's completed. Um, took It took longer than I thought it was going to take. Um, so all of the games have been transferred over. So I'm going to go back here. You can see my external is now only 0.2%. What's, what's on my external? You'll be using service transfer with multiple consoles. This helps get the most... Uh, no, okay, I'm not worried about that. Okay, so there's the storage expansion card. I only have 253 gigabytes free. Uh, you can see all the games on there. So we're going to load Quantum Break now. <laughs> and I'm going to do a speed test on Quantum Break. Let's see. Let's see how much faster it loads. Okay. So two seconds faster. Two whole seconds faster. That's pretty good. Almost three seconds faster. So it's now six seconds basically to load up. So the cool thing about the, these cards is they use Xbox's, uh, what do they call it? Oh, it's, uh, they have this technology. Where is it? It's, it's somewhere here. There's a white paper on it. I should have looked this up before I started this video. Xbox has this technology they use for uh, for loading games faster and for quick resume and all that stuff. Where is it? <laughs> I'll, I'll find it somewhere. But uh, it's called. Oh, let me see where it is. It. I gotta have. I got. I gotta have that for this video. It's important. It is called. Velocity Xbox Velocity Architecture. So you get fast, low latency performance. So this card, I looked it up. It was hard to find, but this this card does 2.4 gigabytes per second, read and write. So it's pretty fast, and it is NVMe tech. So it's not your standard SSD. It's NVMe, which is the fastest you can buy. So now, uh, not only am I going to see, I should see slightly quick quicker load times, especially when the game's being played. But my hard drive is plugged in 24 seven. So I'm actually gonna have an energy savings because I no longer have to plug in my expanded storage. So I'm gonna unplug, unplug my uh, external hard drive, my Western Digital Black, I'm just gonna unplug it. So uh, that'll be a slight savings on my electric bill thanks to this uh, expansion card from Western Digital. So they have three models. They have the 512, the one terabyte, and the two terabyte. And I think it's 79, 140, 49 and well, why don't I just look it up it's right here it's uh, well if you get it directly from from SanDisk it's 95 179 and 299 apparently though if you get this it's different places different places so Amazon let me see. Amazon is 79 for the 512, 149 for the one terabyte, and 249 for the two terabytes. So they're, they're on sale on Amazon right now. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so that's it. That is the uh, Western Digital Card again. Uh, the code was for the uh, Forza Motorsports 5 car pack. Um, not the actual game. So, yeah. I'd like to give a shout out to Western Digital for uh, sponsoring this video and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.